Hi children, how are you? Hope you are fine and safe at home. Makale, Ellavarum online class in the Tedaki Rikimale. Go to the Ratha, Kalacho less Narathana, and unless go to the Ningal, get three better with the charity. Nankutudangale. Last day, we completed the first lesson of biology sensations and responses. Before starting the new lesson, let us go through the important points of the previous lesson. What are the parts of nervous system? What is its function? What is the basic structural unit of nervous system? What are stimuli? What are receptors? Makale, kindly lesson lay. This Pradhana Ashimil Kudin Amuk Kadana Boga. It is a little bit of a I am sure that all of you can answer these questions. But I will go through them once more. What are the parts of nervous system? Brain, spinal cord and associated nerves are the parts of nervous system. What is its function? Nervous system control and coordinate all our life activities. What is the basic structural unit of nervous system? Neurons or nerve cells are the basic structural unit of nervous system. What are stimuli? The senses that evoke responses in an organism are called the stimuli. Okay, what are receptors? The stimuli are received by specially modified neurons are called the receptors. Receptors are present in our sense organ and all other parts of the body. Today we will start the new lesson, the windows of knowledge. What does the title mean? Consider our house. It is through the windows that we see and feel the things outside. Likewise, as an organism, our body see and feel the things outside through some windows. Can you name what are these windows? Okay, these are our sense organs. Okay. First of all, let us list out these sense organs. Eyes. Ear, nose, tongue and skin are our five sense organs. Ok children, let us go through an old headline. As you can see, Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, witnessed an earthquake. Many people were trapped in collapsed buildings. The rescue operations were very difficult due to heavy rain and insufficient light. But they found a way. They used specially trained dogs to detect the victims and rescue them. Makale, it is worth Okay, why do you think that dogs are more capable than human beings in tracking the victims? The answer is very simple. It is because the dogs have more olfactory receptors in their nose than that of human beings. Likewise, whales can detect their prey from a long distance.
ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ കഴുകൻ എത്ര ഉയരത്തിൽ നിന്നാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ഇരയെ കണ്ടെത്തുന്നത് ഇതുപോലെ ഓരോ ജീവികളിലും ജ്ഞാനേന്ദ്രിയങ്ങളുടെ കാര്യക്ഷമത എഫിഷ്യൻസിയോ സെൻസ് ഓർഗൻസ് അവയുടെ ജീവിത ചുറ്റുപാടുകളെ ആശ്രയിച്ച് വ്യത്യാസപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു We taste through our tongue, we feel through our skin. Yes, each sense organ performs their own specific function. How are these sense organs able to perform these specific functions? Certain specific cells present in them help to perform specific function. Can you name them? What are these cells? Okay, these are receptors. Receptors are modified neurons help them to perform specific function. Okay, next we go to learn the specific receptors in each sense organ. Our eye receives light by photoreceptors. Our ear can receive sound wave by auditory receptors our nose can smell by olfactory receptors our tongue can taste so many tastes by chemoreceptors consider sweet sugar all are chemical substances they are identified chemoreceptors then our skin can identify feel so many stimulus like pain temperature pressure cold because they contain pain receptor temperature receptor pressure receptor cold receptor etc okay children we will discuss it now first of all i receive stimulus like by photoreceptors photons mean the unit of light ear receives sound waves by auditory receptors audio means sound tongue receives taste with the help of chemoreceptors chemo means chemical substance in connection with the chemical substance like sugar salt etc skin receives various stimuli like pain pressure cold touch etc by various stimuli then nose receive smell by olfactory receptors once more i contain photoreceptors ear contain auditory receptors tongue contain chemoreceptors nose contain olfactory receptors and our skin contain various receptors like pain receptor pressure receptor cold receptor then temperature receptor etc with this information please try to complete table 2 note 1 on page number 22 Okay children we will talk about eyes first Eye is the major sense organ that help the brain to evoke sensation How are they protected Makale nammal idu padichu pogumbol thanne ningal textbook le page number 22 le aa box kodi poorthi karichu poganam eyes are protected in various ways they are eye socket external eye muscles eyebrows eyelashes eyelids conjunctiva and tears first of all eye socket eyes are fixed in the depression of the skull 
called eye socket next one external eye muscles external eye muscle fix the eye in orbit eyebrows eyelids and eye lashes protect the eye from dust particles and external things next conjunctiva makale endana conjunctiva ningalde kanninde irivasathum iru moolagalilum kaanna ach reddish tissue aanu conjunctiva baaki ulla bhagangalil ee tissue kanninde ulbhagathekku madangi irikkunu conjunctiva secretes mucus which protect the anterior portion of the eye wall from being dry and the tears helps to clean and lubricate the anterior portion of the eye wall and enzyme named lysosome is present in tears helps to destroy the germs enter the eye makale innathe biology class ivide avasanikkiyana paadabhagam nannai vaichu padikkunnathu koodade നമ്മൾ ക്ലാസ്സിൽ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത ടെക്സ്റ്റ് പേജ് നമ്പർ ട്വന്റി ടുവിലെ ടേബിൾ ടു നോട്ട് വൺ എല്ലാവരും സയൻസ് ഡയറിൽ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയും കൂടാതെ ഒരു റൈറ്റ് അപ്പും കൂടി നിങ്ങൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം ഹൗ ആർ ഐസ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മക്കളെ ഇന്നത്തെ ക്ലാസ് എല്ലാവർക്കും മനസ്സിലായി കാണുമല്ലോ കണ്ണിന്റെ ഘടനയുമായി നമുക്ക് അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ്സിൽ കാണാം Thank you.